We want to get back to our breaking news this morning. One man is dead after a shooting involving police. That is reporter Anusha Roy joins us live from the scene. Anusha, Anusha, what more have you learned? Yeah, so we're definitely seeing a lot more people start to drive through as they're opening up the intersection. We just saw, you know, a bunch of cars, a school bus coming through Colfax and Havana at this intersection as people are getting their morning started. Uh, unfortunately, this is an area that is all too familiar to Aurora police, the chief calling it a high crime and high activity area. And that's why he said officers were already watching mash cameras or city cameras kind of monitoring the, the situation and the intersection at around 2.30 this morning when that the officers saw a fight break out near Colfax and Havana. The chief said one of the men on that video was seen pulling out a gun, and that's when officers who were already nearby showed up here. He described what happened after that. Uh, the officer said, stop, put your hands up, let me see your hands, I'm going to shoot you, trying to gain compliance from the individual that he, again, he knew was armed at the time that uh, he went to confront the individual. It, it, it happened so quickly. Again, we're going to have to look at the video a little closer. Uh, but no, he was running uh, when when the dis when the uh, weapon was discharged by the officer. So just one So that's a critical component there that we don't have a ton of details about is what exactly was said between the officers and that man and what was happening with the gun at that time. We do know that one officer opened fire several rounds hitting the man. That man was then taken to the hospital and died around 3 a.m. The chief was talking about the fact that the entire shooting has been caught on camera, either through the body camera from officers, the city cameras we were talking about, surveillance video. We're at a really busy intersection with a bunch of business nearby and so they're going to be going through slowing it down and really combing through what happened there. Uh, we do know that no officers were hurt in this shooting but that the investigation is very much in the early phases. We're still watching investigators out here taking photos, combing the crime scene, collecting as much evidence as possible. A lot to go through to see what led up to this. Anusha, thanks for the update.